Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to do a ramp hold firing with your RTC 1000 controller. So the first thing we need to do is press the enter start button and get the dashes. And then you'll want to press number 4, ramp hold. And then you'll see user and then the user number flashing. So you can use numbers 1 through 6 for the user. I am going to go ahead and stick with number 6, so type whichever one you want and then press the enter button. Now it's asking you for the number of segments. So I'm just going to do 2 for now. So type in your number of segments and then press the enter button. Okay, now it's asking you for the ramp rate for segment number one. So right now it's at a ramp rate as fast as possible. I'm going to change that to a thousand degrees per hour. So type in your ramp rate, press enter. Now it's asking you for the temperature for segment number one. So I'm going to change this to 1500 degrees. So type in your temperature and press enter. Now it's asking you the hold time for segment number one. So right now we've got an hour. I'm going to change this to 30 minutes. So type in. So it's in hours and minutes. So right now I've got a 30 minute hold. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Now it's asking you for the ramp rate for segment number two. So this time I am going to do all nine. So that's going to be a ramp rate of as fast as possible. So type that in and press enter. So now it's asking you for the temperature for segment number two. I'm going to type in my temperature. 2000 and then press enter and then it's asking you for a hold time so I'm going to change that to an hour so type in 100 for an hour hold and now if you have any more segments that you're going to do you're just going to go ahead and go through each individual segment for all those parameters and type them in and then press enter so once you're done press enter now it's asking you for the alarm so I'm going to change my alarm to 2100 so that way if the kiln goes over that the alarm will sound and it will stop the firing so we'll go ahead and type that in and press enter. And now we're back at the idle screen. So now there is a, one more thing we do need to change in case you want to do a delay. You can add a delay before the firing. So to do so, we'll press the enter button. You'll get the dashes and then press number three, delay. And now you can type in your delay here. So say you want to wait 30 minutes before the firing starts, so type in three zero and press enter and then it'll take you back to the idle screen and then if we want to review our program and make sure everything is set correctly before we start we'll just go ahead and press the enter start button and then number six program review and now it's going to tell you all the parameters for the firing so we've got two segments there's the settings for segment number one and now the settings for segment number two and now it's telling us a delay of 30 minutes, the alarm at 2100, the error codes are turned on, and then the number of firings for the controller, and then the cost of your last firing. So if you have the, set, the cost set up, then you can check your cost of your firing after it's finished. But that's it for this one, so remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for a newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!